In this video, I will provide you with the most common math formula that I used in the construction industry, and it's used to figure out the length of the longer side of a right triangle or a triangle with a 90 degree angle in it. And it's a common math formula for used for figuring out the length of a roof rafter. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're actually going to need in the math formula. So we are not going to know what the C side is, but we are going to need to know what the A and the B sides are going to be. And a lot of times for a when you're figuring out a roof rafter, you're going to have a 5 and 12 pitch, for example. And I believe that's about 22 and a half degrees. And this is going to be, this means that for every 12 inches or every 12 feet that the rise is going to go up five feet for 12 feet and if it's a one foot increment then it's going to go up five inches so for every one foot the rise is going to be five inches and uh, if we have that we have these measurements we can figure out the length of this by just simply having these two numbers. Next up on the list, let's take a look at the formula. And again, I'm going to kind of go through this. You can stop it, pause it, you know, grab a piece of paper and a calculator and work some of this stuff out on your own. And, uh, you know, start the video up and go forward, go backwards, whatever you need to do to uh, drive this into your uh, noggin there. So A squared plus B squared equals c squared. This is the Pythagorean theorem. And it's no more than multiplying a times a. This is side a. And um, this formula works just fine if you if this is side a and this is side b. So in this for our example we're using this is side a and this as side b. So 5 times 5 equals 25. We got to multiply this number by itself to get it to get it squared. And then 12 times 12 equals 144. This is side B. And if we add these two numbers together, 25 plus 144, we get 169. And then if we calculate the square root of 169, we get 13. The length of this side, side C, would be 13. Here is a calculator I found on the internet. You might have one at home. Um, you might have one on your computer that you use. And um, most of us know how to multiply numbers together to find the square. If I multiply 5 times 5, then that's going to be 25. So that's not difficult to do. Um, clear that. 12 times 12 equals 144. We add 144 plus 25, we get 169. Now, to find the square root of 169, all we need to do is push the symbol that is going to represent the square root of the number that we had when we added the um, side A squared and side B squared together. So. The square root is just simply the reverse of squaring a number. So if we were to multiply 13 times 13, we're going to get 169. So I hope that makes sense. You're just reversing the process by using the square root symbol. Now I want to point out that if you have a calculator and you don't know what the square root symbol is, um, simply put a number in like 4 and push one of these numbers and then uh, push the equal sign and you got two. So it looks like you can use either one of these. I'm not familiar with this calculator, what it uh, does or doesn't do. My calculator just has the square root symbol on it without anything else and yours might also. But again, it, this if you're trying to find it, you don't know which one it is, just simply put a number in that you know multiplies um, together. So for example, nine. 3 times 3 is 9. Square root of 9 is going to be 3. So just a tip for trying to find the button there uh, if you don't know which one it is. 
In our last example, I wanted to throw out one more thing, and that is that you can use inches instead of feet. It might be easier for you, and it's easier for me to use inches instead of feet. So, you know, five foot converts into 60 inches. You're just going to multiply 60 times 60, um, a times a to get a squared, and just follow the same process through that uh, I just showed you in the previous section. So that is it for the video. I wanted to uh, make this video because I am going to be using it in other videos I'm planning on making in the future. So I'm going to make some videos on um, how to figure out uh, complicated roof systems, rafters, hips, um, and even stairs. So there's a lot of things you can use this theorem for. And uh, um, if you do enough construction or you're in the construction industry, uh, make sure that you familiarize yourself with this formula because you're not going to believe how many times. Uh, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I came to a job and the carpenters had no idea what I was doing. And I'm like, wow, you know, I just I found it hard to imagine some of that stuff you're not going to see today because somebody can pick up a phone and uh pump in a couple of numbers and they are done with it. So I understand that this video might not be as important as it would have uh, when I was first starting out in construction.